Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Brandon Rayu, Riam, uh, yep. Flat Rock Football. How's it going? I, w- I was going to get it. Very good. Things are things are good in Flat Rock. Yeah. Thanks um, for having us back. Hey, no problem. Uh, so just to to have like you know to win a you know win a regional title. First time in the school's history that's that that's happened. Yes, um, uh, out of preference. Yes, you got. Yes, Flat Rock won a state title back in like you know seventy six. But obviously that was pre expanded playoffs and all that stuff. I mean, obviously, uh, obviously the school has won a state title. And nothing can ever take it away. But you know, to to have to do something that the school has never done before. What 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 was that like? Just uh, as and to represent, you know, this team as, and this town as their head coach, what's, uh, what's that like um, to win the title and also just to uh, represent, um, you know, to, to get to coach this team. I mean, it's been a, it's been a phenomenal year. Like, uh, I mean, we've done some thing, like we made some more history, like last year we, we made some history um, and like the 76 team, they're kind of like the legends around here. Um, but you know, we, we've kind of made, made our own mark, um, recently with, with what we've been able to do. Um, like last year we won a district for the first time ever and we lost in the regional this year. We won a district, we won a regional. So it, it's been, it's been a ton of fun. Like I, I'm most happy for the kids, like, the memories that they'll have from this. And we talk about that, you know, all we, you know, leading up to our games, just like, you'll never forget this. And, you know, we talk about leaving a legacy, you know, and getting some hardware. Like when you come back, you know, with your kids, you know, years from now, you'll look in that trophy case and say like, I was on that team. Like that was a heck of a team. We had a lot of fun. You know, we did, we did a lot of things. Um, you know, the whole town's excited, the school's excited, obviously the kids, the parents, I mean, there's just kind of like a buzz around here, um, you know, just doing, doing things that we haven't done, you know, times in Flat Rock, like these are, these are special times that are going on, uh, right now. Like last week we had to go to Detroit Southeastern and play a good football team, um, and we, we had six fan buses that showed up and, you know, our principal at the high school, he kind of organized it. He said, I'm going to get, I'm going to make it like a home game for us. And he got uh, a bunch of the students. He got parents. Uh, we brought the band, cheerleader, like everybody. Like it did not feel like an away game. And there were like 15 minutes left as we're warming up. You know, we're about to to head in. And then all the buses rolled up and all the people got off. And it was, that was a really, a really cool moment. <clears throat> yeah. Um, just to, just to get this far, like, you know, to do it for, you know, to to go to this, to to go to the state semifinals and, you know, do something that you guys have never done before. And, you know, to talk about where this program, you know, was just a few years ago. Um, what, what, what has that been like? What's the turnaround just been like to get, to get the big wins that you guys did? I mean, we, we've come a long ways, uh, from where, from where we started, um, I mean, winning a regional, it was, it was, it was like a magical moment. And I mean, we're, we're, we we got, we got a game coming up here this weekend as well. Um, You know, but just, just to get to this point, I talked to a lot of, a lot of coaches that are friends that have been here, you know, like, how did you guys handle the week? Like, what did you do? What's like, how early did your bus leave Saturday? How did you, you know, did you do like team bonding stuff on that Friday? So like I talked to several of those, like my friends who have been there and, and they really emphasize like, enjoy the week, enjoy this week. Like it's hard to get to this, to this stage. And we've kind of stressed that with the kids, you know, we're preparing for Saturday, but you know, enjoy this. Cause you know, it's, it's tough to get to this point. And, and we recognize that. And you know, the team we're playing is a very good team. Like everybody's a good team at this point. Um, but, you know, we're in the final four and one win away from Ford Field. And, and it's just, you know, it's kind of surreal. Like me and a couple of the coaches, we go and watch state finals every like that Friday after Thanksgiving. That's one of our things we do, you know, and, 
know, we got an opportunity with another win to go and play in the game, which, you know, that, that seemed like a, a far away idea uh, just a couple of years ago, but we're here now. Yeah. And you talk about just this team and really just, you know, how it's kind of grown. And some of the guys have really kind of, you know, with, with stuff, you know, stepped up, you got, you look at, you look at Pep and Alex and, and Graham and all those guys. And, you know, really just um, with, you know, with the offense and how really just kind of Graham's kind of managed games and all that. What, have, what, have, what has impressed you and with him and how is, how is he kind of getting, um, you know, just get it progressing every week as a QB um, just, you know, running the offense and all that. From an offensive standpoint, like our uh, our stats guy, Mr. Sturgill, got to give him some love because he he does a great job with our stats. And he's like Saturday morning, he'll send me comparisons like here's where we're at this year through 12 games. Here's where we were last year. Um, and, and, it, and it's fun to compare. Like I like looking at numbers. Um, and offensively, we've we've done a really good job putting up putting up points. I mean, it's all about points, uh, but just like looking at yards. Like Graham this year compared to last year, like yardage wise, touchdown passes, like he's almost on par with everything from last year, but we've thrown the ball a hundred times less this year. And we've ran for almost like 700, 800 yards more than we did last year. So the biggest thing this year is we've been able, like we're very, we're very balanced much more than like last year, like we can run it, we can throw it, um, you know, and, and it's been kind of our mantra all year is just like take what the defense gives us, you know, if they're taking away the pass, then we can run the ball. If they take away the run, then we can throw the ball. Uh, so that that's kind of been our big thing this year. And like the numbers speak to it as well. Like our numbers are all up from last year, um, but we were a little more pass heavy last year. Like I said, our, our numbers passing wise are pretty much pretty much the same as we were last year with 100 less passes and our rushing yards are uh, are way higher. And, and Brian Booms, our running back, he's been a four year four year starter for us, which is you know rare as a freshman coming up and playing. Uh, he's had a incredible, incredible year uh, rushing wise, like catching the ball. I mean, he's got. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I think he's got like 32 rushing touchdowns. He's caught like three touchdowns. Uh, he's rushed for, he's got the single season rushing record. He's got the career rushing record now. Like he, he's just shattering all of our school records. He's got the tackling, uh, most career tackles. Uh, he, he's just had an incredible year and him and Graham together, like, they're right next to each other in the backfield and like they're talking before the play, like looking at stuff like, yep, let's run it. No, nope, let's throw it. Let's, you know, they, they communicate with each other and like they have a, they have a very special bond. Those two, like they're on the same page with, with everything. And, and they really complement each other. Well, we got a good offensive line and then we got, we got weapons at receivers. Um, and then, and then from the other side of the ball, our defense, uh, like since the playoffs have started, uh, like the first playoff game, we we had a shutout. Second playoff game, we gave up a late score, six points. And then last week against Southeastern, they got 26. But, I mean, we're almost like with the number off at like our three games, we're at like 140 points to, you know, giving up like 32. So we're, we're playing well right now. <clears throat> Uh, to have Alex have the year that he's having, especially coming off a big, big injury, um, last year what what is that like to see him to have the year that he's having Gillum's having a great year I mean he's he's a huge weapon especially inside the red zone uh, he caught a touchdown last week we can just kind of I mean he draws a lot of attention he's six six he's athletic and we can just I mean we can throw it up to him he almost had two like he he caught a one-handed ball in the corner of the end zone but he was out of bounds um, and he, and he's the, I mean, he's the nicest kid in the school. I think he's president of student council, straight A student, just a, just a fabulous kid, uh, and couldn't be happier for him. Cause last year I'm sure it was tough for him just watching like for anybody. Uh, but he, he's an awesome kid. And I mean, he, he's done it on the offensive side, defensive side. He's played a lot for us. And we ask him to block a lot too. Like he's like an extra tackle for us. And we put him down at tight end. Like he's a 
he's a big dude. Uh, so we ask him to block a lot and then we can split him out. Like he's very versatile, you know, and he'll, he, he'll do whatever to, to win. So we're happy for him for sure. Yeah. I know a lot of those guys are, you know, what's, uh, what's just that like to have, you know, to, to go to, you know, the, uh, the state, I think Ipsy Lincoln is where you guys are heading yeah. uh, to play a Corona team that has basically, you know, can really, it's been, it's just been one of their kind of a similar season to them. It's uh, obviously, I think, you know, we've all known, you all know about the twins and all that stuff, but just uh, actually there, I think there's like two sets of twins on there or, or something like that, but obviously uh, just the way that they kind of run things, what what's going to, you know, obviously I, by this, by this time of the year, everyone is really, really good. What, what do you feel like you guys, what has impressed you about Corona and what do you feel like you guys got to do? Uh, to kind of continue the momentum that you guys are having. I mean, they're they're impressive. They're impressive on film. I mean, they haven't lost a game. They've drilled pretty much everybody. Um, I mean, those twins, I don't know all their names, but those twins, the, the quarterback. Twins. Yeah, I mean, he's smooth. He He's smooth back there. I mean, he just flicks his wrist and he, he just slings it. Like he throws it from all kinds of arm angles and he's fast and he chucks it to his brother. Uh, the other one's 32, 32. Is the running back. Yeah, he's the running back and linebacker. He's, I mean, he's a stud. And I just realized his brother's number two and he's, he's a good athlete too. Five, like I know all their numbers, five, seven, their, their line, their D line, like they got players all over the place. Their line gets off the ball. And I mean, they do a lot of different, they can run it. Like there's a couple you know, some games where they're throwing it more. There's some games where they're like they find what works and they they kind of stick with that. I mean, they're well coached. Like they're 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 a very good football team. But like I told our team, you know, like we can control what we do. Like that's what we need to focus on is is us. And again, like everybody's good at this point. And we like we we know what they're gonna try to do. But like we got to focus on on us and and try to do what we do and try to take away some of their things. But I mean, they're, they're a very good, very good football team. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. So, you know, of course, uh, going, uh, I know Ipsy Lincoln's not too far away from Flat Rock, but uh, what's, uh, what's it going to be like to, to go to another stadium and, you know, at this point of the year, you know, to go to somewhere else, what's that going to be like, you know, getting on, getting on the bus and going to a neutral site, no home field advantage for anybody um you know for like next two weeks and uh, what's that going to be like uh, heading there and playing a playing a game that in a stadium you guys aren't really familiar with yeah we talked about that with with the kids you know we'll, we'll, we're going to get there a little bit early kind of walk around check it out it's a gray turf field I've never been there I've seen it I mean it's a beautiful facility um like we'll we'll check it out but um, you know, ultimately it's a, it's a hundred yards. We're going to play a football game and, you know, we'll, we'll settle in. The kids are excited. I mean, it's going to be, we, we got some things, um, you know, this week that, that the kids are excited for, but I mean, ultimately it, it is. And, and like I said, talking to some of my other coaching friends, you know, they just said, treat it like an away game, you know, treat it like it, you're going to know in a away game which we're used to we're getting on the bus it's a business trip like all of our away games are and, and I mean ultimately we're, we're going to play a football game but you know in, in that this type of stage you know it's it's a little bigger um, so I, I'm excited you know for the kids and you know to see what we can do all right Brandon thank you so much for the time as always um, uh, best of luck to you guys this weekend all right I appreciate it thank you Casey